we are definitely upcycling something, but it's me, like literal heaven for upcycling. Hi, <laughs> everyone. It's Angelina, and you guys know me as the upcycler of old clothes. Lately, I have found or I've realized that I, as a, a caretaker who likes to take care of people, oftentimes, you know, people like me neglect ourselves. And when your own children, you know, get on you about taking care of yourself, then you know it's an issue. And I remember growing up feeling the same way about my mom because she is such a Caretaker. Come along on this journey with me to upcycle myself. Let's go make this bag. I am super excited. I told you guys like literally yesterday from what I am experiencing in real life that I wanted to do this bag and I cannot get it out of my head. I have a free Saturday. Today I do not have to worry about the office, about work. All I have to worry about is being creative. So I am going to take the opportunity and I have the fur. I tried to dye it green. It's not as green as, you know, I would like it to be, but I was scared it was going to melt. So I went ahead. It's like a pastel green now, but I will take it. And I'm going now, I need to go to Joanne Fabrics to get something to stiffen up the bag. Um, I found a new store. I found a new store. It's kind of like Creative Reuse or that store I went to in Portland with all of the, like, it's like a thrift store for art stuff and for just any, yeah, anything artsy craftsy. So I found one in Houston. I was super excited. So let's go. That's so cool. Look at the hat stands. Just anything you can think of. Posters and maps. My life. Oh, no, that is cool. Here's all the parts. Oh my gosh, like shoe forms. Another cap. Yardstick. Oh wow. Huh. It's a curve. Oh, this is really cool, like the last one that I went to. Now, here we go. This is the room we're looking at. Bobbin. What is this? Machine parts. Looking for a part. It might be here. A tower of gold buttons. And a bunch of old button holders. This is amazing thread on thread threads on ton ton of ton of where just oh my gosh patterns yarn comb full rows of fabric Knitting needles. Sorry, It'll be four dollars a yard, and these are the yards, so this one would be twelve. Oh, okay, so four dollars a yard. Okay. All right, so the fabric was four dollars a yard, um, which, but everything else was like super, super cheap. So I guess it balanced it out because like I only paid a dollar sixty for the ruler and the um, zipper. And then also uh, for the iron, it was $3. So I paid the most for the fabric, but you know, I w I'm not upset about it at all because I got exactly what I needed and it would have been more probably at Joanne. So.
And we finally made it to Joanne. And then really quick, I want to show you guys this stuff that I get. It's called Flex Foam. And that's what I use inside of duffel bags and bags like this to stiffen them. And I wanted to say that the reason I'm so geeked about this day, having this day off, um, to just dedicate it towards something that I wanted to do for myself because that like really is the first part of it. Like you have to take a moment to yourself. And sometimes when you make your hobby, your job, um, it kind of ruins it. And I don't want upcycling to ever be ruined for me. I printed out my patterns. I did do two sizes. I did end up using the smaller one and I'm glad I did two sizes because I thought the bigger one was going to be right. But the smaller one you'll see is very large. And I am going to do an official tutorial for this. So no worries. I'm going to put out a pattern. I'm going to make, you know, that available for purchase. So no worries. And another reason why I think it's important for me to do projects like this, like have a first go round, is that in this case, I think that there was a much easier way to do it. And I don't like for my tutorials to be confusing. Um, I, as I go along, as I go further and further, and especially when I'm teaching beginners, I see the need for just really, really clear cut tutorials. So I really want to give it to you guys in the easiest way possible. So this is just me trying to figure it out. And y'all know I'm a major, just figure it out type person. Uh, so yeah, I had a ball putting this together, but the tutorial is going to be a lot more clear. So after the bag was finished, I decided that I wanted to make a bag charm. I am loving the fact that the bag charm thing is a big deal right now. And I think it's really easy to go ahead and make yourself some. So I took two pieces of leather, a little bit of the flexi foam, cut a heart out of the flexi foam ironed it between the two layers of leather and then just sold around the heart shape um, and then I also decided to do like a broken heart type deal and this sewing machine that I'm sewing on is the Janome HD9 I do have a discount code for you guys if you are interested in this particular sewing machine and then I cut the strings at the top to just tie it to a key ring. And I'm really grateful for this particular day because it gave me like the energy, um, the spark that I needed to make this big change. And that brings us to the present day. I'm really excited about what we're going to do today because like I really, you know, there's things as a mom that you you want to do for yourself, but you hold off on them just because your focus is not on yourself. Your focus is on um, everybody else. So I understand the need to make sure that I focus on myself because it teaches my kids to take care of themselves. The change that I actually decided to make that you're about to see is I decided to change my hair color. I know that with color comes a certain level of upkeep that I am not capable of doing on my own. I'm just honest with myself. So last week I went on a um, consultation, a color consultation to an actual stylist here in Houston. Well, she's in her shop is in the Woodlands and um, I found her on TikTok once again, and I love the color that she has done to some other people. And so piqued my interest. I made an appointment and you guys know I am a DIY girly to my heart, to my heart, but I'm trying to start to trust other people to do things for me. And that is a big flaw. Now, when you don't have the money, like obviously, you know, you learn how to do things yourself, you know, because you've been in that place for so long that sometimes it gets really hard to allow other people, trust other people to do things for you. That's the place where I'm trying to get out of. And it's, it's difficult. It's not the easiest thing to learn as an adult. I went to the consultation last week. And she did a really good job of washing and, you know, just um, straightening my hair. Getting my color done today. I'm not gonna tell you guys what color yet. You guys can guess what color you think I should have gotten or what color um, you thought I would get. All right, we made it. It's a cute little area. I had to go get some snacks because um, it's lunchtime. Uh, it's a cute little area around here. I'm gonna show you guys. 
There's shops on the lower floors. And then like uh, condos above. All right, she got right to it. First she lifted it and I'm actually not mad at this color at all. This is the color my hair was when I was in high school. So I wouldn't mind going back to that. But then she put in the dye and the dye is a copper color. And then right here, she's starting to put in the low lights. And my low lights are an auburn color. So it's copper with auburn low lights. And without further ado, here is the big reveal of me upcycling myself. color it is hitting on the red i love the color and like she was saying in the sun it's like much brighter it really complements my skin let me know what color you thought i was gonna get um maybe i'll get it next time but for right now i am very happy with this i'm going to try to keep it straight for a couple of days at least and then i think this will even look good in my natural with my natural curls as well um i love my oscar the grouch bag love 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 it love my little bag charm my broken heart bag, bag charm was super easy um, when you have the right materials and then i also have on my blueprint signature crisscross jeans these are for sale on my blueprintsignature.com site right now as well as bucket has a bunch of other stuff so definitely check that out Thank you for coming along on my journey of upcycling myself. I'm looking forward to reading you guys' comments. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss what we do next, the tutorial for this, as well as the pattern. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.